All right, team, transitional stage. Now this is for writing, and this is the stage where we're gonna start to see inventive spelling or phonetic spelling. So the, in this stage right here, the child is using the alphabetical principle and they really start to match up what they're hearing, the sounds that they're hearing in the words with the, letter, uh, the letters that they think match up with those sounds. And uh, you can, in, it starts in, in different stages. It, initially, when we think of inventive spelling, phonetic spelling, the child may be representing the initial sound in a word. Then they might represent the initial and last sound in the word. So look at the initial letter that matches up with the initial sound. Look at the end letter that matches up with the end sound. Eventually, they start to work on the, the medial vowel or middle vowel sound. Okay. So I'll get, I know this says I play. Can you see that? I. That's good. Play. Look at what they did with play. I love this one with play. They get the P in play, the L in play, the A in play, even though it's not correct, spelling the word play, P-L-A, is, is a phonetic way of spelling it, right? The child is getting the initial sounds and the blend. The child is, get, is, is matching up that last sound with a, a letter, A, right? It's just not the it's not just not the right the right uh, phonics pattern. But but guess what? That's not the point. The point of inventive spelling is to start to use the alphabetical principle to match up uh, letters with sounds and also take sounds and match them up with a predictable letter. Right. So so this is uh, so this is uh, great. Great job at that transitional writing stage. And it's an example of inventive spelling. OK, so. I want you to take a moment. I talked a little bit before I did this. I want you to take a moment and just read this to yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Take a moment and read this to yourself to, to, um, to identify some of the characteristics of transitional writing. Take a moment now, read it to yourself, go. And let's just highlight those features of transitional writing. So we start to see letters being represented as words, okay? We start to see the child uh, um, identify the initial sound, the end sound, the middle sound or medial sound in a word. Now it doesn't have to be correct. I'm sorry, the initial, it's this one is sorry, first sound, last sound of a word doesn't, they're just getting the initial sound, the end sound. So that would be like, um, uh, that would be like, uh, yes, we have an example here. So this one, they reverse the C, but in this case right here, even though they reverse the C, they're getting that initial sound k and that end sound. T. So that's great right here. They have just the first sound in each word. I went home. This one, they have the, uh, uh, first and last sound of the word. K t. Now here they start to work on that medial or middle vowel sound. And, and this is where, this is where, you know, as that child progresses in phonics, clarifying those middle vowel sounds, is it a, is it a vowel, vowel team or a, is it a diphthong? Uh, what's going on with that vowel sound? Is it controlled R? Is it magic key? This is where, you know, that stuff will be clarified when we get into more phonics. But right now, you know, uh, my, nice job, cat, very good, is, good even though the s is flipped brown you can see the brown there so in this stage right here they're they're getting a lot of the beginning sounds end sounds they're doing their best with the middle sound right not always this is a very good example okay all right now let's take this and uh let's do a question on transitional writing okay hopefully i have one here Oh, I, I do. I do have one, but I have a, a couple pictures to to uh, give examples of inventive spelling just to just to reinforce this. So inventive spelling here in this one right here, we see that phonetic spelling and uh, we have that spelling of Frosty. And and this is from my daughter's journal. You know, she's approaching it. She's matching up letters with sounds. She's getting the initial sounds, the end sounds. Uh, she's missing some sounds. She's, she's working on that medial or middle vowel sound, but this is just a great example of inventive spelling.
Here's another one here. It says here, um, I can be a peacemaker. And then it, the child writes, um, I will play with my friends. And here again, we have that word play, right? They want to write the word play. Okay, they do their best job to match up the sounds they hear in play with p, l, a. This is a wonderful example of inventive spelling. This is the stuff that we would see as that child starts to continue along, maybe um, maybe around five to six in kindergarten, you're going to see a lot of inventive spelling. So this would vi this would be, you know, five, lots of inventive spelling going on. Six is going to be more, it's going to be a lot of inventive spelling, but the child is going to start to acquire more words, more language, and they're going to start to feel more comfortable with some of these words. But definitely five to six kindergarten, lots of inventive spelling. Okay. Let's go to our first question on this.